Wildland firefighters have descended on the Los Alamos area from all over the country, and they've been working nonstop. Today we got an up-close look at some serious action. News 13's Amanda Goodman is live with that from Los Alamos. Amanda? Well, well, Dick, for most of these wildland firefighters, this is kind of like a summer gig, but it's no day at the pool. These guys and gals are working their tails off with danger always just seconds away. It's hot back home we're raining. Raymond Flanagan is from Montana. Today his crew is working in the all-important Los Alamos Canyon, putting out spot fires like this one burning up the canyon slope. We actually caught them during a rare break as helicopters swooped in to drop retardant. But these breaks are few and far between. The hand crew's schedule is grueling. 5.30 a.m. to around 9 30 10 o'clock p.m. so mopping up is the main thing looking for hot spots within 100 feet of the line and then putting them out all that time spent up close to the fire has started to take its toll on some of the wildland crews the hospital has kept its emergency room open during the evacuations to take care of firefighters on average they see a handful a day mostly for heat exhaustion and dehydration at first the adrenaline just drives you through everything that you're doing and then as, as the time wears on, fatigue sets in and, and some of those things come up. Los Alamos Assistant Fire Chief Mike Thompson says for the most part, his guys are doing okay. Their focus is structure protection, like what they're doing here at the Pajarito Ski Lodge as the fire moves through the forest above them. They can usually get a chance to rotate out and rest. For crews like Flanagan's, though, that's not the case. Once they're out working a line, they're out for the day. So why do these guys do it? Flanagan says for him, it's about boosting his bottom line. It's not easy money. No, but it's good money. This is the second wildfire he's been on this year, but as dry and hot as it is, he doesn't expect it to be his last. But his time in New Mexico is coming to an end. Sunday is our last day. It's our 14th straight day, so then we go home. For how long? Until uh, we get, get called again. And the assistant fire chief tells me a lot of times these firefighters tend to overextend themselves, ignoring the warning signs, and that's when they can get into trouble. Back to you. Okay, Amanda. 1,200 firefighters are taking on Los Conchas, and more are expected. Several hundred of them are concentrated on those canyons and the slopes just west of Los Alamos.